SpaceX engineers never cease to amaze us with the incredible improvements to the Starship system. Right now on the new launch pad under construction, under the new OLM I mentioned earlier, an unprecedented innovation is in the works. Dual fire buckets. How exciting is that? What will this system do and how will it improve our launch efficiency? Let's get into the details in today's NR Studio episode. As part of its ambitious plans, SpaceX aims to complete its new launch system, known as Launchpad B, by January 28th of next year. A few months ago, SpaceX surprised the aerospace community by completing the launch tower stack in an impressive six weeks. This rapid progress underscores SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket technology and operational efficiency. Now attention turns to the surrounding systems, including the orbital launcher and protection system, which are critical components to the successful operation of Launchpad B. Unlike Pad A, which uses a system of water-cooled steel plates to manage the high heat and pressure generated during launch, Pad B will use a more traditional fire bucket design, a method common to many established rocket systems. This effective approach has proven to be beneficial during several launches at the Massey test site. However, SpaceX is taking it a step further with a revolutionary concept called a dual fire bucket, which promises to significantly improve the efficiency and performance of the system during rocket launch. To help visualize this innovative design, the talented team at Chrome Kiwi has created an impressive 3D model, shared on X, that shows off the complexity and engineering wizardry behind the dual fire bucket system. Many thanks to them for their dedication and artistry in producing these stunning images. Be sure to follow their X page to support their incredible work and encourage them to create more interesting visuals in the future. Let's dive deeper into the mechanics of this innovative design. The fire pit will be strategically placed beneath the test platform, featuring a sloping structure that optimally redirects the enormous forces generated during launch. It consists of a rectangular frame that accommodates the slant, connected to a C-shaped section that slopes down to the ground. Once assembled, the trench will be reinforced with concrete to ensure stability and durability under extreme conditions. Additionally, a manifold system designed to provide water for testing support will also be included, further enhancing its capabilities. This clever design effectively redirects the heat and pressure generated by the rocket away from the ground, preventing damage, something we witnessed during Flight 1, where the integrity of the launch pad was tested. This air replenishment system will significantly reduce the heat and pressure, creating a shower effect similar to what we experienced on Pad A, thus ensuring that both the rocket and the launch infrastructure remain safe. Now, what's really interesting about this new fire pit, unlike the water-cooled steel plate system on Pad A, is its capacity for long-lasting applications. Although the steel plates have shown signs of wear after several launches, the flame bucket is better able to handle the demanding operational cycle of the new OLM, ensuring greater durability as SpaceX prepares for thousands of annual flights and solidifies its position as a leader in commercial spaceflight. The dual flame bucket system has been validated through successful testing with prototype ships at Massey. This builds a solid foundation for upcoming B-launch testing. Shown in Chrome Kiwis' image, the plan calls for the construction of an additional fire bucket to be positioned opposite the OLM with a central placement. When ignited, the energy would be evenly distributed, creating a stunning visual effect as dust billows outward like giant wings surrounding the spacecraft. This innovative system is critical for future rocket testing and launches. The Massey Flame Trench is used only for static fire tests of the ship, while the super heavy tests are conducted at the launch site the dual flame bucket represents a significant advancement in SpaceX's approach, optimizing launch operations and improving safety by effectively managing the massive energy flow from the super heavy leading to faster turnaround times. Are you excited about this innovation? If so, please leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on SpaceX's journey and the impending completion of the Pad B launch. In addition to increased efficiency, the dual fire bucket system also offers exciting potential for long-term use. With increased efficiency, the amount of damage sustained will be reduced, allowing for a longer operational life. Following the success of Flight 5, we can anticipate an increase in the frequency of spacecraft flights. SpaceX is preparing to increase the frequency of launches to maximize landing and reusability, introduce a refueling system, 
test Starship, HLS, and more. At Starbase, SpaceX has proposed a bold plan to launch and land 25 times in the near future. After that, we may see a dramatic increase in flight frequency, preparing for the first Starship mission to Mars in two years, a crewed mission in four years, and eventually building a base on Mars. To meet the increasing demand, many new launches and fire trenches will be needed, but the dual fire bucket will serve as the baseline system for all future designs, trained with data through October 2023. Beyond the ability to accommodate launch frequencies, the long-range capabilities of the dual flame buckets will shine as new versions of Starship are developed. If you thought the current spaceship was impressive in terms of lift, with a capacity of 7,000 tons, twice that of the Saturn V, wait until you see what's coming next. Musk recently stated that the new launch is already designed for a 10,000-ton version, which is nearly three times more powerful than the Saturn V rocket used for the moon missions. SpaceX has already unveiled the V-2, which is expected to use Raptor 3 engines, which produce a sea-level thrust of 280 tons per engine. With excitement, the first V-2 prototype is already in production and undergoing testing. At this rate, we may only see two more V-1 flights, with a V-2 potentially launching as early as next year, which would be in time for the launch progress on Pad B. Looking ahead, SpaceX plans to build a V-3 version that will tower over 150 meters. This iteration could utilize the Raptor 3 or future engines, which have a thrust rating of 330 tons. With that kind of power, the liftoff thrust of a Starship could exceed 10,000 tons. Starships that reach that milestone would require a more robust launch than the current Pad A system, as well as a test setup at Massey. I've pondered what system would meet Musk's ambitious demands and it seems like a double fire bucket might be the perfect solution. That said, the new system would present several challenges. First, the fire trench would need to be dug much deeper and wider, taking up significant space. If SpaceX intends to build more such systems in the future, a major expansion of the Starbase would be essential. However, this presents challenges with government agencies and the environment still in operation. Let's see how SpaceX is overcoming these obstacles. To close out the SpaceX segment, let's dive into an exciting update from the Artemis II mission. Recently, the four Artemis II astronauts, Reed Weisman, Victor Glover, Christina Koch, and Jeremy Hansen conducted a critical contingency operation exercise by opening the side hatches of their Orion spacecraft. In preparation for a mission to the moon, this training is critical. If all goes according to plan for the September 2025 launch and orbital mission, the astronauts will make sure all the hatches remain firmly closed. However, embarking on the first human lunar mission since Apollo 17 in 1972 requires a keen eye on safety as a precaution. NASA says that during normal mission operations, the crew will not operate the hatches. A systems grounding team at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida will help the crew enter Orion on the launch pad, then close the hatches behind them before launch. After splashing down in the Pacific Ocean, the recovery team will open the side flaps and help the crew exit. Importantly, both the astronauts and their backup crew members have undergone training on the escape hatch system. This ensures that they can safely enter and exit the spacecraft in an emergency. In general, the side doors are opened using a manual gearbox system, but in an emergency, the doors are equipped with a release mechanism containing a small pyrotechnic device. This device instantly releases the locking pins on the hatch, allowing it to open quickly and is a very important safety feature. Given that NASA's current systems are showing some risks, this preparation step is very important. For example, NASA is considering whether to replace the heat shield on Orion, as this component plays a significant role in the overall roadmap. In addition, the mobile launch system, which is part of the exploration and land system, has been delayed. Concerns are growing about the SLS due to poor contractor performance, which has raised issues regarding schedule, quality, and cost. As the end of 2024 approaches, we have less than two years before Artemis II. The pressing question is, can NASA get everything ready in time? If delays continue, do you think this ambitious project needs to be reconsidered? Let's start the discussion in the comments section below. But friends, that's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.